across the globe. Partakers of this great service, jump on your feet and scream. I'm confident somebody's youth is getting renewed afresh. Getting younger and younger. Getting healthier and healthier. Getting fresher and fresher. If that includes you and your family, make your amen the loudest one. He said, I will restore health unto you. If God has said it, only God can do it. It doesn't need an assistant doer. His word will never fall to the ground. His word will never return to him void. I like you with confidence in that God. Lift your voice and give him thanks for restoring health unto you. Give him thanks for restoring strength unto you. Give him thanks for repackaging your destiny this month. Coronavirus across the nations of the earth has become extinct from now never to be spoken of again has become annulled from now the earth vomits coronavirus the earth rejects coronavirus the earth annuls coronavirus Ketapatoda. every terminal disease is getting terminated every yoke of sickness is getting shattered lift up your voice renew your confidence in him this morning if he said i will it doesn't need an assistance to get it done. It surely will do it. Ripta Batona. Give him thanks in advance. Give him thanks with assurance. Give him thanks knowing that he's too faithful to fail. Akatona. Mary Akazazazazazalanama. Somebody thanking him. We give you praise. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you. Glory to your name. Ask him once again, Lord, this is the first Sunday in the month of April. Speak into my life this morning. Lift your voice and ask him specially. Ask him specifically. It's the first day, first Sunday of the month of April. The fourth month of the year. The beginning of the second quarter of the year. I want to hear from you. El Katonama, El Kazuzazaba. He sent his word. I want to hear a word over my health. I want to hear a word over my protection. I want to hear a word for the security of my children. I want to hear a word that will perfect the healing of my husband. Are you praying from your heart? That will secure the perfect health of my son. I want a word from you. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. For it is written, he that asketh receiveth. You have asked for a new month encounter. You have asked for a new day encounter. You have asked for a new visitation. A loud amen. Receive it from this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every word in this service shall be your word. Amen. I'm not hearing you. Amen. amen. How forcible are the right words? Every word in this service shall be a right word for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every word in this service shall be a word in season for you. Amen. A loud amen. Receive it now. Amen. Lord, move across the face of the earth. Move from nation to nation. Move by your spirit from coast to coast. There is no distance in the move of the Holy Ghost. Do what you alone can do. A loud amen. We vow to give you all the glory. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout a loud amen. You are going back blessed. Big hands together for the Lord and please be seated. Praise God. I said praise the Lord. Once again, it's my year breaking limits. Congratulations. With joy in my heart and the entire member of the Winners family here with us in the studio in the broadcasting center, we'd like to welcome everyone, north, south, east, and west, across the globe, across our nation, across Imo State, and particularly Oweri City. Welcome you to the second service in this highly prophetic service. When God speaks, everything he is. He will speak concerning your own matter in Jesus' name. And I'd like you to know, God is mindful of you this month. It was somebody else's turn the last month. Good news, it shall be your own turn this month. That amen make it resounding. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a month we have been waiting for. Very timely month. Ecclesiastes 3, 1, 2 says, God is a God who walks by times. Everything, there's a season. There's a time to every purpose on heaven. And God has proposed this month. No more sickness in your family. True health shall visit you this time. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So say with me what God has said he will do, I will restore health unto you. Make it louder, I will restore health unto you. Now, personally, I say this month, God will restore health unto me. Make it louder, this month, God will restore health unto me. Scream the loudest, this month, God will restore health unto me. Remember, the wicked one, John 10.10, 10, came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I will restore. I cause you to have life abundantly. And that's why scriptures confirm one another. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. God speaking by his own mouth. No assistance. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. He said, I will restore health unto thee. Say, do it, Lord. Make it louder. And I will heal thee and of thy wounds. Come on, say, do it, Lord. Said the Lord, he said, before nobody wants to come to your house. Before they call you an outcast. Nobody wants to attend to your matter in the clinic. They told you it's a close case. But well, God is saying, he said, even though this is Zion, which no man seeketh after, I will attend to you this morning. Watch out. We heard the testimony in the service, the first service, that Jesus appeared to a person tied down by a terminal disease, by an affliction. And the devil, Jesus said to that wicked one, let her go. And she rose up, totally delivered. Any plot of hell against your destiny ends right now. Receive that divine visitation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not hearing you loud. Amen. Amen. All through our Sunday services this month, we have a very unique line of teaching. Understanding our heritage of dominion over sickness and disease. Understanding our heritage of dominion over sickness and disease. And I'm taking part 1B of that message. If you are not in part 1A, get connected. And the Bible tells us in Proverbs 16 verse 22 why we all need understanding. Don't take things for granted. He said understanding is the wellspring of life. To him that has it, a foolish man will lack instruction. I won't go and look for it. A wise man will go for understanding. When you have understanding, you become outstanding. On any matter. When you have understanding on that matter, you become outstanding in it. In Proverbs 13, verse 15, for that we are farming this truth, good understanding giveth favor. But a man that won't go after understanding is a transgressor. He says his way is very hard. Life is hard. Nothing is working. But when you have understanding, walking with God, enjoying blessings of God becomes very simple. They call it the simplicity of the gospel. Simplicity in Christ. Things will happen for you cheaply. 2 Corinthians 11.3 Don't let any devil tamper with your understanding. Second Corinthians 11 3. He said, Listen, 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 relax. Second Corinthians 11 3. I fear lest by any means, like the serpent confused Eve on that day, deceive her of our inheritance of our portion. So don't let the devil corrupt your mind from this simplicity that is in Christ. When he say he took, sir, he took it. You can't have that devil. Dr. Nico said, almost 40 years ago, he saw that scripture, Matthew 8, 17, as he was studying about health, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, the prophet, saying, he himself took our infirmities, our weakness, our sickness, our disease, and bear our sickness. If he took it, took is took, sir. Whether geography or biology. Took is took, whether it is law. Or it's accounting. If he took it, that's past tense. No devil can put it. That growth in your womb dissolves. Say aloud, amen. amen. He took it. Second Peter. No, let me take that later. If he took it, you can't have it, my brethren. Whatever they say you, you have is a lie from hell. That chain is broken this morning. Amen. Have understanding. That's the reason for this 
simple but deep teachings every Sunday this morning. Now listen, brethren. Our solution to health is not in the discoveries of men. We need a new understanding. All their discoveries they have made all these years, if the answer is there, we should not have sickness again. Yes or no? From before book was composed, man has been making discoveries. Plenty of hypotheses. Plenty of experiments. Plenty of discoveries. But the more discoveries they make, the more sickness it comes. Am I talking? So man has to have the answer. So that they say they haven't discovered the answer to coronavirus, they don't have it. Thank God for all the efforts that have been made. But the answer is in God. That's why I said, look, have a better understanding. Thank God for all the men are working hard to get across the nations of the world. I am the one. I can end it. And God will end it this time. Have a brighter understanding. Have a richer understanding. That's why it says in Proverbs 21 verse 16, if you don't allow your understanding to be enlightened, it says if that wandereth away from the way of understanding shall remain the condition of the dead. Allow your understanding to be enlightened. See brighter, you go faster. See brighter, you live healthier. And that's the reason for this simple but deep teaching this morning. Let's have a brighter understanding. You will walk out of sickness all the days of your life. Say loud, amen. When Bishop Oedipo saw that truth, he took it. He said, then I can never be sick. 40 years is not sick. You are the next for your testimony. I'm not hearing you, amen. He took it. And when I saw it with him too, I said, oh, me too, I, he took it so I cannot be sick. And joined, God now joined an extra understanding from Isaiah 33 verse 24 to help to renew my confidence. If he took it, I cannot be sick then. So I agreed with my father, I too, I cannot be sick. He said, the an inhabitant of Zion shall start saying from today, no one shall say, I am sick. In your family from today, nobody shall be sick again. Have that understanding and make your amen the loudest one. Have that understanding and make your amen the loudest one. Have that understanding and make your amen the loudest one. So, by redemption, my brethren, we must know that we share the same kind of life with Christ. You are beginning to question me. But I say, don't question me. Go to the scriptures. By redemption. We share the same kind of life with Christ. That's your heritage. When you see it as your rights, you will live right in life. When you see that as your rights, that's your heritage. When you see it as your rights, you will begin to live right in life. You are not a victim in Christ. You are a victor in Christ Jesus. John chapter 3 verse 16. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him, you will not perish. Say amen. amen. You will enjoy everlasting life. Shout a louder amen. I say you will not perish. Well, no matter the sickness that is killing people in your family, a loud amen, it shall be minus you this morning. I'm not hearing your amen. So when Jesus redeemed our life from destruction, like we read in the call to worship, Isaiah chapter 53. If you read from verse 3 to 5, like he executed redemption, he said he was despised, rejected, acquainted with grief, wounded, battered, despised, not attended to, for our sake. Surely, therefore, he had borne our griefs, say amen. He had carried our sorrows, a louder amen. amen. He was smitten of God, afflicted. What he carried, no devil can bring it back. Surely has redeemed us to live his power. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The judgment of our peace was upon him. And what? With his stripes. A loud amen you are healed from now. Make that amen a louder one. Make that amen a sounding one. By his paying the price, my brethren, I'm speaking directly to you. You are to live like Christ on the earth. Was there sickness in Christ? You can't have sickness anymore from today. I'm not hearing your loudest say, man. Your salvation in Christ guarantees a triumphant life on the earth. 
Your salvation in Christ guarantees a triumphal life on the earth. You are redeemed by his blood. You are redeemed from the hand of the wicked one. So you must triumph in Christ. Please stop negotiating your health with any doctor's decision. You can't have that sickness. You can't die by that sickness. There shall be a turnaround for you. I'm not hearing you. Amen. I'm speaking to somebody that receives the power of redemption, the power of resurrection this morning. From this moment, you are free from sorrow. You are free from a campaign. You are free from death and destruction. You are free from sickness and disease. Be loose in the name of Jesus. All you need forgets what news they are peddling. And that's why in the first service, the emphasis was to damage ignorance and go after insight. Forget all the news they are peddling. When the light of the world breaks forth in your life, your health will erupt speedily. Mark my words. When the light of God's word breaks forth in your hearts your health will erupt speedily Isaiah 58 verse 8 Isaiah 58 verse 8 stop carrying up about what the doctor said a senior doctor is talking now am I talking the great physician is talking now that thy light shall break forth as the morning say loud amen and then your health will erupt speedily shout a loud amen and the glory of God shall be your real reward. All that God is saying, my friends, what you know is not good enough. When your knowledge becomes increased about what Jesus has done for you, you access healing, health, and wholeness with ease. When your knowledge increases about what Jesus has done for you, you access healing, health, and wholeness in life with ease. Take it from now. I said, take it from now. I said, take it from now. Make that amen louder. I said, take it from now. Have you not heard? Men are destroyed because they have no understanding. Men are destroyed because they have no knowledge. Men are shut down. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Men are in captivity, they lack knowledge. They have rejected knowledge. They have rejected light. They have rejected understanding. They have forgotten the law of God. And God has also forgotten you. But somebody is going to open up this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not hearing you allowed say amen. As you open up to light, as you open up to insight, as you open up to new discoveries, the last trouble you saw by your health shall be the last one. That amen is not loud enough. Remember, our target is dominion. Our emphasis is dominion. Like I said, the first service, we attacked ignorance. And this service, we are renewing our connectivity with the source of light. The first service, we damage ignorance. Don't allow the devil to frustrate the simplicity of the gospel in your life. In this service, we are renewing our connectivity with light. Have we not heard? The dominion of light over darkness is instant and unquestionable. Instant and unquestionable. When light shines, destiny opens up. Light will shine upon your life from today. The domain of light over darkness is instant and unquestionable. unquestionable. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 to 3 very direct. Arise, shine, why? Light has come. Isaiah 60, sorry. Verse 1, 2 and 3. Isaiah 60 verse 1, 2 and 3. Arise, shine, the light has come. Once light shines, you are shining. Somebody's going to shine today. That amen is so loud enough. He said, even though darkness covers the earth and grows darkness, but the Lord shall arise upon thee. Glory shall be seen upon thee. Say loud, amen. And Gentiles shall come to your light. Healing is coming your way this morning. In the name of Jesus. Hear this word directly. New birth is our spiritual translation from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God. New birth. 
That's our area of focus. Now you are born again. Understand what is loaded in that truth for you as an inheritance. New birth means being born again. New birth means being born anew. John 3. Verse 3 and then verse 7 and 8. Very, very I say unto you, except a man be born again. Born, you will not enter the kingdom of God. But when you are born again, you must be born again. How? Oh, verse 8. It says, after that, it said, it said, it said the wind blew where it listed. So a man, so he had the sound there, but it cannot. It doesn't know, cannot tell whence it cometh, where it goeth. So it's everyone that is born of the Spirit. How are you born of the Spirit? Go up, please. Let's look at verse 5. Go up, please. When you are born again, you are actually, except be man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into God's kingdom. So, when you are born of the Holy Spirit, once you are born of the Spirit of God, enveloping your life, clearing darkness, and implanting light, you become a candidate for God's kingdom. Today, that Spirit of God will visit you. Clean out your old life. Give you a brand new life. I'm not hearing you. Let's say, man. You see, when you are born of the Holy Spirit, you open up to God, open up to His Spirit to come into your life, make you completely brand new. And once you are brand new, the Bible says, all things are passed away and all things become new. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. That shall be your story from now. But begin to look. If a man being Christ is a brand new creature, all things are passed away and all things have become new. That means new birth is so potent, is so loaded with refreshing encounters. The first one available in new birth is Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Colossians 1 13. It says you are delivered from the power of darkness and you are translated to the kingdom of God's dear son. Say loud amen. That means you are no longer listed with darkness. You are enlisted for light. You are no longer listed for darkness. You are enlisted for light. New birth. Removes you from the realm of darkness. The last issue of darkness is so shall be the last one. Remember, sickness is darkness. Yes or no? Insecurity is darkness. Yes or no? Human attacks is darkness. Yes or no? Weakness is darkness. Yes or no? Frustration is darkness. Yes or no? Ah, premature death is darkness, yes or no? Yes. And God is saying, the moment you became born again, you are no longer listed on that page. A new chapter has been opened up for you. Say, Lord, amen, you are going back brand new. Number two thing available in new birth there is the fact that by new birth, you are repositioned far above principalities and powers. There's a supernatural change of position. Far above principalities, above powers, above torments. In all this three prayer, this prayer and session for the fa with fasting against coronavirus, one word that kept coming. First Corinthians chapter 3, chapter 10, verse 3 to 5, kept coming. We're in wrestle. Second Corinthians 10, verse 3 to 6. Second Corinthians 10, 3 to 6. We are wrestling. We are wrestling against, not against flesh and blood. Yes, though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Now verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to the putting down of strongholds. Why? Look at verse 5. He said, for casting down every imagination and everything that exalted itself against our knowledge of God and bringing to captivity to the obedience of Christ. Say loud, amen. And the Lord is saying there also that look, all the wicked powers against our lives principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. We have been raised above them, never to be enlisted among them. Say loud amen. amen. The last wickedness you saw in your family shall be the last one. Amen. That amen is not loud enough. Amen. That amen is not a resounding one. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 talks us positionally that we are dead in sin. Jesus quickened us together with him to stay with him in heavenly places where he stays. Raised up with him. So beware. Ephesians 1, 20 and 21. Far above all principalities and powers. Verse 21 particularly. Above principalities, above power, above mind, above dominion. 
About every name, not only this one, but that which is to come. Everything that is in your life troubling you. He says, have faith in God. It shall be cleared out today. That amen is not loud enough. That amen is not the resounding one. Scream, you will never see that devil again. So, know it one, by new birth, you are completely brand new. No more darkness in your life. Say loud amen. Take that as your inheritance. And two, by new birth, you are repositioned far above all the wickedness of the devil. So whatever the devil has planted in your body is clear now today. That amen is not loud enough. As it's clear now today, get a hold of that light. You cannot have it. A little young man tested HIV positive. And as he got the paper, he ran to the hospital, ran to the church, met Dr. David Oedeko, and was screaming. He said, Sissy, I cannot have HIV. I cannot have HIV. I can't. I can't. I cannot. The man said, relax. Don't put your paper inside my eyes. I didn't give it to you. He took the paper from him and squeezed it and laid hands on it. He said, get back there. You cannot have it. He went straight back to the hospital. HIV died. Whatever they say you have is clear today. I'm not hearing you. That is amen. I'm saying to everyone hearing me, now that you are born again, if you are not, do it today. Now that you are born again, no. One, no more darkness. Say loud amen. amen. Two, cannot be a victim of principalities and powers. You are going free from now. Amen. Whatever killed your mother cannot kill you. Amen. Whatever attacked your auntie cannot turn you down, cannot attack you down. All those family diseases, generational calamities, a lot of it is shattered from today. Amen. Be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Quickly, how then can you use the word? How then can the word empower us for dominion over sickness and disease? How? I'll take two vital ways in this service and I'll take in the next service. One vital way is empowerment comes as far as your eyes can see. It is always to you as far as your eyes can see. If you can see far, you will always go far Men are limited by their short-sightedness. Break the limits and nothing can inhibit your destiny. He said to Abraham, you may look barren physically, but I want to take the limit of your destiny. In Genesis chapter 13, 14 and 15, he said to Abraham, lift up your eyes. Say to your neighbor, lift up your eyes. Lift up down thine eyes. Look far. From the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, westward. All the land which thou seest, I give it to you. Put back that 14. God said, my brethren, pick up your Bible from this week. From Genesis to Malachi. From Matthew to Revelation. Northward, southward, eastward, westward. As far as your eyes can see. That shall be your inheritance. I'm not hearing your ladder say amen. That means instead of remaining a victim of what God said, hello, open the book and the tears shall be wiped away. Amen. Revelation 5 5. Open this Bible, open the book, and begin to see your heritage in it. Weep not. The land of the tribe as Judah has prevailed to open the book and lose the sins. They have open your Bible. A woman had a plague life. Attack life when she had go and open the book. She picked up her Bible from Genesis and kept reading and kept reading and kept reading by Jeremiah. God completely overhauled her life, could not be tied down. Remember, God's word is loaded with healing virtue, God's word is loaded with divine virtue. That's the new understanding God wants us to carry now. Forget what they are saying in Exodus 15:26. The Lord speaking directly to you and I. He said, look, if you were just diligently hearken to my voice, look at what is written here. And do what is right inside it. And give ear to my commandments. And keep all my statutes. You see, all those diseases they are talking about in town, now we come to you. I, will, I have brought you out of Egypt. I have healed you. And I will heal you. And I perfect your health. Say loud amen. That amen is not loud enough. Pick up the book, open the book, and begin to read 
and receive and believe and act on what is written on it in it, you will look, wake up one day and see sickness is gone forever. That amen is not loud enough. Amen. Make that amen resounding. Amen. Remember the testimony of our two great, great, great mothers in the faith. I keep talking about Joel Austin's mother. When she was abandoned, she picked up the Bible. Cancer was killing her. She could not move around. She said she picked up 40 different parts of the Bible. Talking about healing and health. And began to live by those words. Eat them like food. As far as your eyes can see, open it and see very far, see very deep. Began to swallow them as capsules. 40 scriptures and kept swallowing. They gave her six days to live. I think 45 years have passed since that time. She's still alive. Are you clapping for Jesus Christ? Like I always say, when I read, that she attended the burial of that man that gave her six days to live. Hello. She's still alive till today. Mama Faith Oyedeko, take her book, Resting from Destruction. He said when she saw that testimony, when Satan attacked her body, she went after the Bible also and took out 140 scriptures. Hello. You know black man, no degree. 140 scriptures and kept living by them the Bible. Crave after seeing very far into the scriptures. I'm, of, I'm destined for longevity. That's what the word says. I'm destined for silence of hell. That's what the word says. And kept roaring after those words. He said it was when I began to search the Bible that I saw very far that in every book of the scriptures there's a word on healing. Every book. She put that together in her book titled The Healing Scriptures. And took that word. And lived by it. She's still alive today. Now listen, brethren. A little boy attended a service in Faith Tabernacle. It was AA. And as he had, God's servant was preaching that day. Sorry, it was SS. Forgive me. He said he had that word. And it entered the little boy carried by his mother. And as they were going, God's servant said, go and read. Go and search. Go for the word. As they were going home that day, they greeted another pastor with the mother carrying him. And the pastor gave them 1,000 naira. As they were going, the mother decided to, okay, they said we should read, stop by to buy books. As she entered the bookshop, as the mother was trying to get her book, this boy saw this mama's book on healing scriptures. I said, mommy, that 1,000 naira they gave me, buy this book for me. Hello. He bought the, she bought the book for him. When they got back home, he told his mother, he said, mommy, that book you bought for me, start reading it for me. You will hear good news this week. His mother was reading and reading and reading and reading and he got to a point. He said, Mommy, stop by that scripture. And read it for me again. 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 That was on Sunday. By Wednesday, she had read and read and read for him. He had an attack that evening. They went to the hospital. And she kept reading that scripture for him. Mom, read it again. By the time the doctor checked him in that clinic, Eria Masuza, SS had turned to A. It's as far as your eyes can see, my friend, that inside God is healing. Inside God is health. Inside God's word is liberation. Go after God. You know what he told, he told Moses? Very simple. Exodus 7 1. See, Exodus 7 1. I made you a God unto Pharaoh. Aaron shall be like, Pharaoh. start looking at what they are saying on network news. They didn't call your name there. Am I talking? Or they call your name there? Why are you disturbing yourself? Stop going, all those things that they are sending you, asking you to send. They say, please pass it around. Please they put it on your WhatsApp. I say, pass it around. I say, why? Are you paying me for passing it around? They say, okay, please pass it around. I say, for what? You keep passing, I keep passing. I'm passing fear. Stop. You're not an agent of fear. See what God is saying. And see very deep. Dr. Debo said he had been preaching long life. But when he saw Pasadela, of blessed memory, at the time he said he saw he saw him a preacher on television and learned that this man is over 100 and still preaching. He said he saw long life practically. He said, I must go after this man. I was privileged to go visit him with one of the first days he went and saw this man practically. At the age of over 100, he would climb the stairs from upstairs downstairs. Pasadela. The man lived for 114 years, was preaching to the last day. My friend, you won't die before your time. Amen. Make that amen is coming. Yeah. The day we went to visit the man, the man came down. I'm sure he was in the sitting room. So he came down and he was also in, in the courtyard. He said, Where's the bishop? Where's he? We say he's inside. 
he greeted us one by one. After I greeted us, I put my hand on my forehead. I said, I can't die young. I've, I've handled longevity. I prophesy by the outstretcher. Whatever wants to kill you is shattered today in Jesus' mighty name. Be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never see evil anymore. In the name of Jesus. So, see, take the book. Take the Bible. And begin to paint pictures about your life. About the life of your children. Sickness free. Trouble free. Casualty free. Attack free. No devil shall confuse you. Number two, as I round up. Know that the word quickens your mortal body. Quickens. It has capacity to make. Quickens means make alive. Make awake. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Make alive. Make awake. I've shown you. Go for light. Let it keep entering you. Darkness will be humiliated. Also, let it quicken. The word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Say amen. Piercing and divided sword about the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. He said, the sound of the thoughts and the of the heart. Say, Lord, amen. Look up here, brethren. The deepest part of a man's body makeup are your bones. The marrow, the joints, the, 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 the ligaments. And he says, this world can pierce. Enter the deepest part of your body. Whatever is killing it, it shall be cleared out. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Allow God's word to enter you. It will enter all your kidney. Enter all your liver. Enter all the corners of your body. Whatever else you cannot see shall be seen today. I declare, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Romans 8 11. We are going to pray that scripture and then you jump and cry. Romans 8 11. He has capacity to make a life. Read with me the scripture. One to go. But if the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead, what? Shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwells in you. I prophesy. Hey, Shagatona. Everyone hearing me. Whatever is bringing down your body, bringing down your destiny, be delivered now in the name of Jesus. Jump on your feet and scream. Lift your voice and promise the Holy Spirit. Walk that walk in my life today. I cannot be a victim. Light is shining. Lift your voice and react this morning. Lift your voice and react this morning. Lift your voice and react this morning. What you don't want, fight it. Go after long life. Go after longevity. Go after the quickening power in God's world. Nobody can pray for you like you. 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 What to begin to react right now? Brand new limbs, brand new kidneys, brand new livers, brand new eyes, brand new ears. Begin to bind that devil, begin to cause that growth, begin to react now. You are going free. You are going healed. You are going delivered. Be loose in the name of Jesus. See very far. Very far. You are going very far. Across the globe. Give him thanks and praise. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Make that amen a resounding one. I have a strong witness in my heart. Everyone hearing me. You will see your children's children. In glorified form. You see your children's children's children. Scream a loud amen. They will not terminate your destiny before your time. And anyone that any kind of attack. A loud amen you are healed from today. In the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. Reach it out from here to wherever you are. To begin to quicken your mortal body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Make you completely brand new. You will sleep well tonight. And say in the loudest amen. Your next checkup shall be good news for you. In the name of Jesus. And everything they say can never happen in your life. We happen with speed. Shout a loud amen. You are blessed. Quickly, whenever you under the sound of my voice. Enough is enough. You have suffered long enough. Turn your life over to God. Like I said in the teaching. No more darkness. Say loud amen. I'm not hearing your loud amen. No more attack from principalities and powers. The last attack you had in your family shall be the last one. You want to be free? Lift your right hand.
and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender. Forgive me my sins. Blood of Jesus, set me free. Change my name and change my story. I open up my heart and I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again in Jesus' mighty name. If you pray that prayer with me, I speak over your life now by a word of prayer. Whatever God has not planted is cleared out of your life finally. In the name of Jesus. And I decree from today, the trouble you saw before you sit no more again forever. Be made perfectly whole in Jesus' mighty name. Shout a loudest amen. Shout a resounding amen. Everyone, the healing river is flowing right now. Lift up your two hands. I'm going to take from the Lord. And oh, what joy that healed my soul. Something, something. Now I know he touched me and made me whole. He touched me, he touched me, he touched me, he touched me. Oh, open up to him. have a new understanding now open up to him open up to him something new must happen my great God that bet is gone the hair campaign gone take it take your healing now he's sharing healing right now Yes, 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 yes. Take it now, take it now. So turn it free this morning. Drop that sickness. Take your healing now. Drop that darkness. Take lives now. Drop that attack. Be made perfectly whole now. Never again. Never again. Never again. One more time. He touched me. Yes. Perfectly whole. <laughs> Completely clean. Jesus, heal every sick today. Happen and I'm sure now I, I know he me. He he me. Me. I have a witness this morning. Every trouble, every luggage you are carrying is cleared out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is weighing you down across the globe, wherever you are, behind your PC or the television. Or behind your computer in whatever form or your telephone oppression is cancelled depression is shattered that weight is destroyed in the name of jesus christ that growth is caused you'll never see that trouble anymore shout a loud amen is free jesus said it's finished i say again it's finished you pray that prayer of salvation with me surrender your life to jesus please rush in your testimony let's have your name your number and everyone that needs any emergency touch, there are two numbers on the screen. Send your details there and God will make your own matter to be attended to. Also, you want any kind of special prayer for divine intervention? There are three lines on the screen. Rush in your details there and make sure you are connected. You know, that's my teaching in short while. Be connected, stay connected. Light is shining. Don't die in ignorance. You will hear good news this week in Jesus' name. And please let's all stay fired on the prayer line. Coronavirus is terminated now in the name of Jesus. I'm not here, your ladies. Amen. We had testimonies this morning of a hole in the heart. Jesus cleared. We are going free right now. I'm not here, your ladies. Amen. We had a testimony of insanity, swelling in the chest. It ended suddenly. Your case is ending now in Jesus' name. 
Somebody had a chronic wound in his leg for 18 years. The word like this cleared it. As you are hearing me, that wound shall be healed. I said, that wound shall be healed. That swelling shall be terminated. That cancer return back to sender. Wave your hands and shout a loud amen. You are totally free from today. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. All through this week, connect with teachings of the scripture. Jesus is the greatest teacher. Luke 5, 17, as he was teaching, power was present to heal. Go through the scriptures. Go through the gospels. I read the gospels two, three times every year. 12 chapters every day. And in one month, you have gone through it. Get anointed books. That lady said, they asked me to read the force of freedom and mental setback cancel. Make it a week of connecting afresh. The first service said, let ignorance be dam damaged. Go after lights. And I'm saying specifically now, connect with lights. Don't just go after it. Connect. Receive it. And you're going back brand new. Go in peace. Between now and Wednesday, 4.30 first service, 5.30 seconds when we meet again, your story is changing. Your level is changing. Your status is changing. You will hear good news. Next Sunday, communion service. As you partake of his body and blood once again, you receive healing, health, and wholeness. Scream a loud amen. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're shutting down this service to start the third service. Wherever you are across the globe, make room in your home. Let the next person come in. The next set of people come in. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. As you go, you will hear good news. This week is blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's share the goodness together one to go. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever, amen, peace. It's my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen or ears said shall be experienced all through the year 2020. Congratulations. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And get set for the third service. You are blessed.